Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Well, I recently did a few videos concerning my 07 Ford Edge, and one of them showed what coolant looks like when it gets mixed up into the engine oil. I've been getting the question, how do you get that mess out of the engine? Of course, it's a no-brainer. You have to fix the source of the leak first. That goes without saying. If you have coolant leaking into the engine oil, you have to fix that leak first, whether it be a head gasket, water pump, or whatever and then you can go about getting the coolant out of the engine oil now what I did uh, it is pretty simple process I basically just drained the engine oil then I changed the oil filter then I filled the engine with oil and then I allowed it to run um, in my case I actually let it run for about a week with that oil in it now let me clarify something here when I say drive it for a week I'm, I'm talking about going back and forth to work every day for about a week, not consistently driving the vehicle for a full duration of a week. In your case, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you go that long. Maybe drive it for, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Then change the oil again. You're going to drain the oil, change the filter, and then fill the engine oil again. So, and even after you change the oil the second time, um, all that stuff's not gonna be out of there quite yet. Uh, you're gonna need to drive the vehicle, and what's gonna happen is the engine's gonna heat up and the remaining moisture inside the system is gonna evaporate, and theoretically, the uh, PCV valve is gonna suck that moisture through the intake into the combustion chamber, and then, of course, it's gonna be spit out the exhaust. So, that's what I did with mine and I, I had very good results with that. Now could you use additives to aid in the process of cleaning that stuff out? Of course you can. Do I think you need to? I don't. Now there are some old timers that swear by adding a little bit of transmission fluid into the engine oil and then running it that way that that will actually help out a lot and I've actually done that before. I don't suggest it but it is doable. Not guaranteeing any results by that but uh, the transmission fluid has a little bit of detergent in it or a lot of detergent in it actually and that could aid in uh, breaking down that uh, that coolant and that sludge and stuff inside the engine and of course there's a myriad of other products that you could use uh, over the counter at your parts store so I've been driving mine for quite a bit now and I'm just going to show you what the engine oil looks like you can see that it looks like it's due for an oil change again of course it's not milkshakey and it, that is just plain engine oil in there albeit it's dirty but the inside of my engine is pretty clean let me open up this uh, oil cap here so you can take a peek inside the engine and you can see there's quite a bit of contrast between what it looked like before and what it looks like now and I know you can't see a whole lot but there's not that uh, that slime and stuff inside there, so we're good to go now. I got really lucky with my engine. I replaced that water pump, cleaned it out the way I told you, and uh, we've actually been driving this thing for several months this way, and we've not had a lick of problem out of it yet. Now, when you get coolant in the engine oil, there's a chance that something might have got dorked up. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily expect... Uh, everything to be peachy after you do this you might have had some engine damage occur whenever coolant got into your engine oil i'm assuming that if you got milkshake inside your crankcase you've you've had to been driving it for a little bit with coolant in the oil so uh, this is all a gamble and there's no guarantees on this and of course as i always say use this information at your own risk i don't make any guarantees with this either so but realistically this is what I believe is the best way to get that stuff out. It's cheap. You don't have to use any uh, products other than engine oil and an oil filter. Just change your oil twice afterwards. Well, I certainly hope that this helped somebody. Please read the entire description down below before you use any of this knowledge or attempt any of this. I'll have some more very important information down there that you need to know. And also, I'll have a nice little disclaimer at the very end. Please read that, guys. Thanks again. Please like and subscribe.